at sister the whole entire time and then I'm also going to bring up where's your dog as always uh, I ask that a lot GM Elgar reminds me of Umlo from uh, Giant Slayer in uh, Glass Cannon <laughs> so he reminds me of Uh, well, Sister Maria, you remembered seeing the dog for a while, and then you just kind of lost track of it before you got into the Iris Hill. You think you remember hearing, uh, your escort there telling you that, uh, you couldn't take your dog in? Wait, Sister Maria asking about the dog, or are you just thinking about the dog? I'm just telling you. I'm... I'm I'm thinking about the dog, but like I don't know where it is. Yeah. Neither do we, and uh, but I know Fingram doesn't. The GM care might. Where the dog is. The GM's memory for Sister Maria might know where the dog is. Yeah. I might. Right. Yeah, and that's makes sense why you would ask. Um, out of character in that case. Did I then. tie it up outside of Iris Hill or something? You likely did, but on your way out, you didn't see it. Uh, I have no idea where Eustachius is. Such a shame, that. But yes, Society takes you back to the Sleepless building. And she lets you inside. And says that you're going to stay here the night. And you're going to rest. And then we are going to get back to uh, solving this mystery at Iris Hill. Uh, do does, uh, does Sister know what that thing was? by the way the creature yeah uh you guys can give me knowledge religion religion okay yeah i have knowledge religion is cormac awake yet or he's still unconscious i'm guessing right unless somebody heals you but i don't have any way to do that so i'm assuming you're just gonna have to sleep through the night and then that'll your burn will go away overnight you're probably just gonna sleep through the night all right, so I can't roll with knowledge religion unless oh, it's not right like now. A retro. In the morning, you might be able to think about. It. But the only thing you know, Sister Marie, is that it was some kind of undead creature. Okay. But yeah, um, you guys sleep in the sleepless building. I guess that makes sense. I guess I just assumed it was an abomination because of it's it's an abomination. Well, it is, yes, of course, an abomination. An undead abomination. Right. But you guys rest, and you don't get bothered. You'll have to be sleeping in a bit here since you guys left during, like, 4 a.m. Okay. You guys have like chairs and other things to sleep in. So around like probably noon is when you guys wake up. And Meg is likely the one to wake you guys up. As she is unaware that you are going to be here uh, today. Or that you guys are sleeping here.
Uh, and she comments so on how, wow, you look like you had a rough night. And you hit the nice rest button then? Yeah, basically. You guys can rest. Okay, um, and then that will increase my health back up to... Not full, but... Actually, it will for me. That'll put me to full health. But I'm sure not everyone else is at full. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I will say, like, that, that is understating it. But yes, it was a rough knife. I don't really want to talk about it right now. Apparently, either does sister. I told you guys about it. Oh, did you? Oh, I must have missed that. So you gave us all the details yeah. why you left during your watch. Kudu emphasizes on that. No, I told you that I was bewitched. During your watch? That happened on your watch? No, it happened the third watch. Um, I, don't she, I don't know if Sister Maria told us that, though. That it was, for defeating the two, uh, the two cultists. The, uh, that thing was called a star vampire, and then the, uh, the head lady. Yeah. Makes sense that it was a vampire of some sort, so we did need a silver weapon. Which none of us have. Oh no, that wasn't, that wasn't the lady. Oh, she was the head She lady. was something else. The star vampire was the octopus creature. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. That was an aberration. No, oh, I never rolled the dungeoneering check for that thing, I guess. Which I probably should have. Hmm. But, oh Pretty well. cool creature. But uh, what she is is I guess I could way roll exotic. Like, you don't know. Other don't. Than it's I don't know. You're the star vampire anyway. What? Uh, not that like I don't expect anybody to know, and you know, as long as you don't meta knowledge it, uh, I'll just say that what the head lady was is a monster that comes from Filipino folklore. Huh, okay. It's pretty cool. I know nothing about Filipino folklore. Unless it shows up in some random anime for some reason, I'm probably not going to go <laughs> research it. <laughs> yep. Uh, Cormac, you wake up because you're rested, and your bro your body probably aches. Oh yeah, and he can only ca he has less uh. Ca uh channels because he still has prison damage remember to heal one uh ability damage off of everybody yeah even elgrior is feeling a little better but still pretty hurt i gotta prepare different different maga spells uh but uh elgrior once he's awake is concerned about his beetles so he he shambles towards the door and <laughs> yeah. uh, just says, uh, God, take care of my beetles. So I wonder if Disrupt Undead would have worked on on uh, the head lady or whatever. Probably. Yeah, I had that spell, so that would have been, that would have probably been that the been way useful. to go. But I didn't know it was undead. I don't have knowledge religion anyway, so there would have been no way for me to know that it, if it was undead or just some sort of crazy aberration. Which honestly, I thought it was some sort of aberration. Um, so let's see, do I still even want to prepare days? I think we're kind of getting to the point where days is a lot of times not actually useful at all, so I probably want us to stop preparing it. Things are getting higher and and hit. Down. Yeah, I mean, it was we could we were able to use it on this on the random cultist guys. That was about it, which is still useful for that. Like, action economy being able to do that and attack is still good, but... Um... And then... I think I'm good with those levels. But, uh, Sasadia well. eventually comes down to make sure that you're all awake. I think we are all awake, Kels. And she tells you that...
she saw you. She saw, um, she saw the five of you, Sans, uh, Maria, walking the street late last night. Well, early in the morning. And that she says, uh, not that I want a lot of people to know, but I do take my own patrols of the city every now and then. But I do so discreetly. Well, if we were then in a bit of an emergency, we're not very discreet, I will admit. Yes. I sense that something... Something had you all concerned, the way you were heading towards Iris Hill with such uh, speed and fervor. But I didn't think of it much to myself until I rolled it over in my head, thinking that if you all got in too much trouble, well, there'd be no one to bail you out. Well, you're not wrong. Kudu, like, crosses her arms. She's very closed right now. She's upset. It looks like she wants to speak, but she just holds it. <laughs> Honestly, we were right now over our head, and it was something that probably should have never happened. But... Uh, I guess... When it comes down to it, I've been through a lot with Sister Maria, and we have our differences, but I did not want to abandon him. And I believe everyone else felt the same. I was worried that if we left, he will, we would not see him again. I was not even sure that we would find him alive at all, to be honest. But the chance that it would happen was enough to drive us forward. Well, one thing like we do cats. know for sure now is that something bad is there. Because nothing good happened while we were there. No, I not like anything I saw that I sealed. And uh, I don't think Hesitan. Yeah, don't think Hesitan Laws is there either. It's so like uh, just as many questions about where, where he would be as I did before. Well, I guess we don't really have to worry too much about Elgrior, since he's probably not going to be played. But, uh, yes, Fingrim, uh, I've got your madness for you. You don't have to do anything right now, I'll tell you when. Oh, okay. Because I remember, yes, you and Elgrior took sanity damage. Yes. Okay. So, That's actually the first time I've taken any sanity damage the whole campaign. I've been really lucky on those yeah, saves. Yeah, you've been pretty yeah, good on the saves. Alright, so, uh, Sasadia kind of leaves you be for a moment. Or for a while. But she does inquire before leaving of, you plan to go back to Iris Hill? I think we have to, but... I'm not sure what we're looking for at this point. Well, looks like you found plenty of things that don't belong here. So, my advice would be to... My advice would be to get rid of them. I 
we'll take and a she tells you that uh, while they have lessened, the kidnappings haven't stopped. I think perhaps the maybe the methods of the kidnappings have been like what happened to Sister Maria. Perhaps that's what we just are uh, avoided having. Perhaps you can have this not happen to others. I will. Uh, I'll try and stay with you all uh, from now on. It Is that wasn't very smart of me to walk off by myself? You kind of still sound like Elgrith. Um, I'm, I'm down, I'm down in the numbs. I feel bad for being bamboozled. Oh. All right. Plus, I need to get Where's out of my uh, Elgrior mood. Maybe it's like that time yeah, Sister Maria was to... was trying to was trying to sound like Fingram all the time. <laughs> Way back in like the first book. Sister Maria does Sister Maria things, you know. Well, uh. As you guys decide what to do and when to do it, there is a uh, there is someone here that comes to see you. But uh, Meg is the one who kind of like, as the receptionist, she sees uh, the person in and asks, uh, you know, what she needs. And it appears to be a little girl, and she's carrying something wrapped in, like, uh, that, like, brown butcher paper. I don't think I want to open this package. And What's Meg kind of comes surprised over to you guys and says, uh, this girl says that you helped her. I don't know how she knew how to, f knew how to find you. Um, I'll go to I mean, girl. if we had helped her that she would know, I suppose, but I don't, I'm, like, kind of Squint at him like I don't recognize her. Uh, okay, but uh, Kudu, you go to the girl, and she looks up at you, and it looks like a little human girl, about the age of like twelve or something, around that age. She's not too young, but you know she she's nearing adulthood in about. Uh, you remember me, yeah? Maybe, year. maybe I saved her several weeks ago. But uh, she's carrying yeah this like big thing wrapped in uh, butcher paper and she says um, the man at the church said that you found my brother you rescued him yeah the, the boy with Father Reinhardt yeah you think that's who, she, who she's talking about Uh, she says that we were so worried about him, we didn't know what what had happened, and with all the kidnappings, we we thought the worst. But he's safe now, and he's back home. And my my grandfather wants you to have this. It's not much, but it's all we can give you as thanks. Maybe it'll help you. And she hands Kudu the the package. Uh, so, do you take it? Don't do it, it's a trap! <laughs> Wait, it who's... Just kidding, it probably isn't. Is it handing it to me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, you're it, about it's handing it to you, yeah, the little kid. What is this? Uh, a paper bag? <laughs> it's like yeah, this it's big like... thing wrapped in butcher paper. It almost looks like a... 
like a head. It's like about, it's like about two feet like long and almost as wide, and it has like the figure of like a kite. Okay, and we're inside the sleepless building, right? Yup. Okay. Yeah. Then I take it. All right. She uh. She curtsies for you, and then she, she goes away, and she she leaves. Okay. Do I have to like open to look inside? Okay, so you open it. You take off the butcher paper and the other stuff it's wrapped in, and uh, you pull out uh, and it's bees. This very shiny, gleaming. <laughs> it's bees, not the bees. No, you pull out what looks to be this like really shiny mirror, except when you completely like unwrap it, the reflective mm -hmm. surface isn't a mirror. It's this like heavy steel shield. But it's exceptionally shiny, like it's made of silver. Hmm. I'm gonna detect magic it. Yeah, Cormac does the okay. same thing. How about a uh, Fingram? Uh, well, I'll wait and see what Ross does with it, but if I need to, I'll also do it. Okay. Um, yes, both of you detect magic from it. Spellcraft it. Sure, give me spellcraft. Uh, Sister Maria knows that this shield has been enchanted once to increase its uh, protective properties. It's a plus one uh, heavy steel shield. But that's not all. Um, as you guys look at it, you realize that the reason this uh, this it's metal they used oxyclean so on it brilliant. Yes, it's been polished uh, with oxyclean. <laughs> oh shit! Um, but that's not all. Yep. Uh, you realize that this is a mithril heavy steel shield. It's almost like it's lighter than like even the lightest of uh, normal steel shields. It well, shit, almost that... provides no encumbrance. If that uh, one chick had DR versus silver, this would be able. You just hit her with this, <laughs> to full fucking damage, right? Maybe, yeah. She might have DR versus cold iron, though. I'm not sure. It is probably yep, one of those a two. Plus I think. Plus one heavy mithril steel shield, or heavy mithril shield. So this is between me and Cormac, I believe. Cormac, you want my heavy? Correct. Shield? I can't use it. I can't use a shield. Yeah, I, I think it. he's gonna. I think he's gonna take it because he's gonna start fighting two weapon or with his mace and stuff like that again. I've been forgetting to mend my mace so I can use it, but. <laughs> like, I, I know Sister Maria was just incredibly not useful. But Sister Maria has, like, nothing in terms of, uh, gear value. Will you take my heavy for... wooden shield, and I can take this one? My plus yeah, one yeah, heavy wooden shield? That works. Okay. Yeah, it works, because, like, Sister Maria can hit, <laughs> it's, like, silver, so it's, like, perfect for a sister to carry. Uh, I'm not selling this for any monies. Uh, did we pick up any... Were those chain shirts plus one? 
Did we pick any up, any of those up? I don't think any of them are magical. Uh, they were. Uh, no, they were. Uh, they were, yes, plus one uh, changer. Only one of them, and I think um, Only what's one? his name is is wearing. Elgrior took the chain shirt. I thought. He's yeah, but it. there were like five more. Change. Yeah, the there, chain there were... shirt would be an upgrade for me, so I don't know why Elgrior has it. Well, if there's five of them, it and no one really said anything about it, because he didn't tell it. Yeah. Uh, oh. If there's, if we had got multiples of those, then I mean. But yeah, yeah there's could, like guys, five of them. I assume could have taken So that's a plus one, or you said? Just a plus one yeah, changer. Plus one changer. Oh, that's yeah. still that's a like huge plus one changer. For me. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going to add one of too. these to Sister Maria as well. We're sure, all just that's why. stealing coldest chain shirts. Whatever. We coldest yeah. now. Well, <laughs> They're kind of nice looking, too. I mean, just because the chain <laughs> shirts... I mean, we can... I don't we can <laughs> customize them a little yeah. bit. They don't have They don't have to be, uh, you know... We can, you can like, I mean, Kuna's a painter, right? I'll just repaint him. You want me to it's paint fine. on your chain shirt? Yeah. It's yeah, fine. Not? Yeah, whatever. Just, we'll figure something out. Uh. <laughs> it's a challenge you just... paint. <laughs> Use presentation. Uh, we just have to use it multiple times. All, all day long for every hour, right? Yeah. Yes. That's fine. Uh, I don't see any problem with this. This seems like a good plan. I mean, I, I can cast it. It's a, it's a cantrip. Just do it all the time. I'll take that yeah, instead yeah. of... Actually, no. I, I'm not going to take precipitation. I need... I need I'm a magus. I need offensive stuff. Alright. <laughs> so that gave me plus two... You can't use precipitation to do damage, so therefore I'm not taking it. Yeah, Wait, it, I mean, I magic me change shirt gives me plus one to my AC. If I fight defensively and have shield up, I can have like really high AC, like 26 or something. It's pretty good for that. That really helps me yeah, see, because great. now my armor check penalty is not ass. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you slap And I can move 30 armor. feet. Okay. Nice. I'm probably gonna be switching over to to a medium level, a medium armor later on because I'm a dwarf and it doesn't make a difference whether I uh, wear. Oh yeah, medium, I can't wear medium, medium. armor. <laughs> so I'll I'll probably. But the thing is, I don't get medium armor proficiency until uh, later on. I think. Uh, I don't know when I get it. I think I maybe I get it next level. Maybe it's level seven. I think it's level seven is when I get it, and it's like level eleven for heavy. I think it's how oh, that there's works. an additional 600 XP uh, for rescuing the boy and claiming okay. the shield as the reward. Oh, okay. Oh, did we gain XP? And we're splitting up that 700 oh, gold. 1600, okay. Yeah, I think we'll split that up as well. 700, what was the total on that gold? 750. 750 divided uh, uh, five ways? So 150 each? Mm-hmm. Wait, what? I don't know if I can buy anything, but... 150 plus 500? 150 gold. No, 150 gold for... Oh. Just, that's, that's from that gold pouch that we found. I just hadn't divided it up yet because we hadn't found oh. Sister Maria, so I just kept the pouch and then we divided it up now. Because I was like, oh, we could divide it up now, but then Elgaro gets some of the gold, so we're not going to do that because Elgaro is probably not going to stay at the party. He doesn't want He doesn't want the gold. Gold is... Yeah, he doesn't sister. believe in... Yeah, he doesn't believe in worldly possessions. He only believes in his beetles. And the power of friendship. Right. No, he doesn't believe in the religion of currency. Right. He only believes in his beetles. He's, he's convinced that, yeah, it's a religion. That capitalism, because it's an ism. <laughs> yeah. Let's be real, it is a religion. I mean, yeah. Basically. Practically.
All right, I hate to do this, but I got to go. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. This I have my I'm housed in my uncle's place, and I have to walk the. Oh, you're still there. Yeah. Well, no, no. I just. Wow. I went home. I went home for a week, and then I went back. My uncle travels wow. a lot, so. Yeah. I have to go walk this dog before it's too late. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks, then, Grim. Yeah. Sorry. Well, if Grim's out, that's probably where and we're gonna. Just yeah. Three other people. That's where we're gonna end because Derek's not here. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, right. it's a, it's a, we're, we're at a good stopping point hour. though. No. Yeah, we're at a good stopping yeah. point. This is this is pretty natural. It means we'll go into the next session. Everyone will have full resources, uh, and mm -hmm. we can just uh, take off. This day, after you get the shield, Ellard Hagley comes in to the sleepless building to, you know. To, to check in and give his latest report and he is startled to find out that you uh, five were already in Iris Hill having a <laughs> somebody, you know, not really somebody that we though. went without you of but he says that well if, if you found a way in that I must come with you I mean I don't think we found the way in that you didn't already know about. We just went through the front door. We, uh... We... We just busted the road. I mean... I mean, Kudu and I went around through the back, but... Like, we went over the wall. But, uh... Yeah, we went through the front door. But, uh... Yeah, yeah but... but uh... We'll probably do it again. You, you can come with us if you want. He says, uh, splendid. We shall, we shall crack this case together. I'm sure that we will. It will be very, uh, very much successful. Alright, uh, and that will be it for tonight. Yep. And probably... Next session, we'll level up at the end of next session, I'm guessing. Hopefully. We're, we're 700 guys experience will be at the away. level for Iris Hill. <laughs> After we clear out Iris Hill. Yay! <laughs>